We were having trouble with our Samsung uh, ref refrigerator. It stopped making ice. We tried defrosting the ice maker. We tried uh, testing the ice maker with the test button. Pull out the ice maker. You reach in, there's a little blue button. Press that until the until it, it dings. Then slide the ice back in and close the door. This makes it start an ice cycle. It would make ice when we did the test cycle. So that's where we started trying to diagnose what was wrong. And here inside the ice maker, there's going to be a sensor. Normally, when looking at it through a cell phone, you should be able to see it flashing. With the naked eye, you won't be able to, but the infrared, uh, it gets picked up by the camera. In this case, ours is not flashing at all, so it's not even trying to sense the ice level. Which, um, And then inside the ice maker, over here is the receiver, and that's the transmitter that's all the way in the back for the infrared. We ordered a replacement of the bare component online, and we'll post links to where you can get it. And we're hoping this is a fix. Replacing that one component would just cost um, a few dollars. Okay, so rather than go through every single step, we're going to go ahead and just briefly explain what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and follow the steps to remove the ice makers that others have posted online. We'll post a link to the description of what we found one of the best videos that helped us. But there's no reason for us to repeat all those steps here. This may vary depending on your Samsung model, so you may need to be able to um, be flexible with that. Okay, and now we have the, the, um, the auger back in place, and you can see with the camera, that LED is glowing, it's blinking, and right now it's off, but it was on there. Okay, so with the part that we had bought, we had plugged it in, assumed it was going to be compatible, and it turned out we had a glow for a little bit, a few seconds, and then it stopped, it went out, and it wouldn't go on um, anymore. We might have miscalculated, and there may have been a resistor in the old board uh, integrated with the LED. So we went ahead and we put together a um, resistor and a um, transmitting LED from an old remote control for a TV, and we combine that instead together, and we're going to um, insert it and replace it in place of the part that we had found online. And we did some rough calculations to calculate the amount of resistor we might need, depending on what the likely voltages are in the fridge. So it's kind of a little bit speculative. We'll see whether that works or not. So here we have the new part. It's an LED, and we use some shrink wrap with a resistor inside of it, and we kind of wire that in. And then we use the scotch locks right there that will um, to tie it in with the, the wiring harnesses wires, so to bypass the burnt out infrared transmitter that came with it. Oh, by the way, we also tested the infrared transmitter on a circuit tester, and it tested bad. So we definitely know the original part failed. We're just trying to find a substitute that will work either short or long term in place of the original part that burnt out. Is it going to work? Yes, we now have a full bucket of ice.